Hey, welcome back, Cloud Scholars. I hope your day is going well. My name is Kieran Tross, and I am your host. Uh, we are continuing the Azure Key Vault series. Matter of fact, this is the last video of the series. So I want you to pat yourself on the back. I want to thank you for staying with us throughout this whole time, through this whole series. This is the final video. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to pull your secrets using Logic Apps. So one of the first things we're going to do is um, I actually want to go over to Logic Apps. So I have already in Logic Apps on this tab right here. So I'm going to click over here and we're going to create ourselves a Logic App. So we're going to come up here, click Add, and we're going to throw it to a resource group. As always, I pick on this RG East US. Uh, logic app name, we could just call it uh, Scholars Logic App. And we got the green check mark, so that's good. So that means that we're good to go. Uh, we'll leave everything else. Workflow, uh, don't worry about Docker. We don't need it on that. Standard, um, Windows plan, uh, which is fine. Uh, we'll leave this as the lowest one. I believe it already went there. Yep, that's fine. And we don't need any zone redundancy for this because test and purposes. And we can just click on review and create. So then what we're going to do is click create. And let that uh, get provisioned. And once that's done, we'll come back. Okay, so our logic app is created. So what we want to do is I want to come down here to identity. And we want to make sure that it's on. So we have our system managed and we have our identity. So we're gonna, I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this because we're going to need this information because this is going to be our managed identity that we need to give access to within our Azure Key Vault. So back up here, I'm going to go jump right back in the Azure Key Vault. I'm going to go over to access policies and right here, if you remember from previous videos where we were talking about, you could do access policies or you could do RBAC. We're just running through access policies at the moment. And what we need to do is we need to give it access. So I want you to make sure that when you're, if you're following this video, make sure you're going to secrets and not keys or certificates because we're doing, we're pulling the uh, secrets. Um, which honestly, if you wanted to uh, do things for uh, keys, you can kind of go through the same workflow. But just make sure if you're following through the video that you went to secrets. So I'm gonna click next, and then this is where we're gonna paste the same information, and then you'll see, yep, there it goes. That's our manage identity, and we're gonna click next all the way through, and then click create, and then now you should see a provision there. So the next thing we're gonna do is gonna jump back over to our Logic app, and we're gonna create a workflow. So right here, we're just gonna click on add, and you can call your workflow, whatever you want to call it. I will call it uh, workflow. I'll say get my secret. And we'll just put stateful. And stateful is for optimized and high reliability, or you could do stateless for low latency. Um, I'm just going to throw it in stateful. Um, it's not going to cost us anything crazy. We're already going to do it really quickly. Um, but in production, you definitely want to do something like this. Okay, so we're gonna click inside here and we're gonna go down to our designer. So within our designer, what we're gonna do is, first thing we wanna do is we wanna set this to run on a certain schedule. So once you get the schedule, we're gonna go on reoccurrence and we're fine with uh, this interval of 15 seconds, which is perfectly fine. Um, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add an action and we're going to look for Azure Key Vault. And the action that we want is to get secret. There we go. So authentication type, we're going to come down here. We're going to choose a manage identity, and it's going to give us a little bit less information. So for the connection name, you could call it what you want. Um, my connection one, and then the vault URI to be used for this connection. Now, if you want to get the vault URI, I'm going to come back over here, and we're going to go to our properties. And here's the vault 
URI. And we click on create. And then we need to choose a secret. So we're going to go with this my secret and see it automatically populates. So um, let's come over here. Let's go to secrets. And I'm going to go to my secret. I'm going to click over here and I'm going to choose uh, show secret value. And you can see is my secret uh, capitalized is a, is a secret name. And then the secret value is my secret lowercase. So settings, we're all fine here. Um, and I'm going to show you what this whole secure inputs, uh, secure outputs section is a little bit later in this video, but we're all set with this, my secret and we're good. And we're going to click save. Okay. So that is done. So we should be able to start seeing something populate for us within this. So I'm going to click over here in overview and I'm going to go to designer. Yeah run the trigger and look right there. You see it was already said successful. We have stuff populating for us already and it's saying successful. So what I'm going to do is if I click in here, what kind of information do we see? And you see, it says, uh, get secret. Uh, this is checked off. So that ran successfully and this ran successfully as well. And you can see input. It says secret, my secret. And then over here, secret value is my secret. Now, let's say if you didn't want to show your secret, right? You wanted to still make sure that that was, um, sh wasn't shown for security reasons. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back to the workflow, click on my secret. And I apologize. Um, I'm a bit stuffy today. If you guys can hear it, uh, trying to kind of get through to, to wrap up this, this, uh, series for you all. So I do apologize for sounding a little stuffy and I'm going to come to designer. When I click on get secret, if I go to settings, secure output, I could keep that on. And then I'm just going to click on save. I'm going to come back to overview. Hit refresh. One more time. Let's see what comes up now. Yep. You see right here, it says outputs content, not shown due to security configuration. Now, if I were to come back and this one was before, it gives me all the information. This is before I applied that setting where it says secure output. So that's just something I wanted to show you all something really cool that you can do to make sure that the information isn't shown. Um, uh, for on screen. So if you want to keep your, your, our secrets, uh, secure, but still be able to use a logic apps to pull the information for whatever reason you may need to do it for. So, um, I did take a lot of time to make these videos for you. I hope this was uh, beneficial. I wanted to make sure that it was clear and concise. Um, the information that I input here and just really make it as, as practical as possible. So that this way the information can be digested, um, very easily. So, um, we're at the end of the video. We're at the end of the series. And I want to thank you again for taking the time to watch it. Please, if you haven't done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment. Um, let me know exactly what your thoughts are. Um, I'm always interested in hearing uh, the input from the people who are watching the videos. You know, our audience matters to us so much. And I thank you all for watching. Please share or even post it on your LinkedIn or whatever social media platform you'd like. Um, really appreciate that. Um, so, uh, this is the end of the video and I want to say thank you once again, I feel like I said like 10 times, but I really am appreciative of you all watching the videos. So, you know what the goal is here at cloud scholars, it is to get you from scholar to consultant and from consultant to expert. Thank you. See you next time.